Good afternoon, everyone. This is uh, Willie of Clicks and Coffee. Norman is not with us today because, because uh, I got this shipped to my house and not his. <laughs> uh, this is our first vlog. I'm going to occasionally put these out and uh, they're more or less just going to be uh, unboxings of uh, Troll and Toad orders and uh, booster packs, booster bricks, etc. I kind of just uh, some solo stuff I'm doing. Some of them will be with Norman, some of them won't, but hope you enjoy. As you can see here, we have a package from uh, Troll and Toad. We have mentioned Troll and Toad before in our uh, previous episodes. I mentioned it's a great way to get some pieces you specifically want. And I made a huge order. Some of these are mine. Some of these are Norman's. You could probably... I will tell you whose is whose. But let's get ready. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna skip to actually getting this thing open with my beautiful wolf knife. Alrighty, it is now open. Here's the first thing we got. A map. See, I bought the uh, Teen Titans map. A uh, Teen Titans map. Something new just for the uh, background of our videos. I'm gonna have to use my knife to cut this open, I think. <sighs> Second. Alrighty, now that's out of the plastic. Let's see what this map looks like. This will be used in some of our videos. It it won't be used in some. <laughs> uh. Alrighty. This is the Teen Titans Great Hall Endor Map. Yes. As you can see, we have the Titans Table. And several other very unique uh, fixtures. This is a map I've wanted for quite some time, because I am somewhat of a DC fanboy and like Teen Titans even more. So I really did want this map. Uh-oh. That wasn't a good sound. Botch. Botch. Next we have the uh, Nowhere Crucible uh, outdoor map. Very good. Very good. I'm going to fold this before actual damage comes to it. But, uh, you're going to see more detail of that map as I actually, uh, work with that. Got, uh, some pieces here. I'm going to get them all out before I actually unwrap them. I really like who this is. You are going to love them. I guess these are all of our cards. One of which is, uh... My actual favorite comic character that be introduced the past ten years is, uh... Silk. How every issue of her comics has ever come out. I got, a uh, Nightwing. Well, that's the only pieces you can actually tell I got from this. Let's unwrap the bubble wrap and, uh, take a look at... The specific pieces I have here. You can see a giant arm. Here, so you can tell that this one here is a colossal. I mean, it's heavy. It has a giant appendage. It's actually one I have to put together because it's in brand new condition. But this is Trigon. Raven's father and Teen Titans baddie. Actually, one of my favorite villains in all of comics is uh, actually Trigon. But when I heard he had a colossal and the Troll and Toad had him in stock, how could I say no? This is a little look at the figure itself. Looks like it got to put together his staff. Ah. Ah. 
I guess this is it. And I gotta put him on his base, so let's click around his base for a second. Definitely a deadly premonition that he's standing on a base of skulls. Let's click 14. As you can see, his point value is 500, 400, and 300. This is a uh, Trigon. Alrighty. I'm not going to look at his stuff too much, at least not like that. His card's an older card, so it doesn't have his actual dial on it. What we do have here is his ability, so let's take a look at what Trigon's got. He's got the Deity, Mystical, and Ruler keywords. He's got the Where Do You Think Your Power Comes From. Each time opposing character with Mystical Keyword or Mystic's Team Ability, Taurus Trigon with Probability Control. Immediately modify all this combat values plus one till the beginning of your next turn. It's quite cool. Dominion over Worlds, Running Shot. Sonic Suggestions, Mind Control. Conquer the Earth, Charge, Interdimensional Portal. Phasing and Teleport. Uh, th those are the abilities on the website. What others does he have? Reality Warp. Trigon can use Penetrating Psychic Blast as if he had two range targets. At the beginning of your turn, Trigon can use Barrier as a free action. He may also place two blocking terrain markers, each within his range and line of fire. But they do not need to be uh, adjacent to each other. When these terrain markers are removed at the beginning of your turn, deal one damage to opposing characters adjacent to those squares. Reshaping the world, pulse wave, demonic defenses, impervious, immortal invulnerabilities. Your weapons are immaterial, super senses, demon high toughness. Just when you think he's gone, if this click is revealed when taking damage from an opponent's attack, Stop turning the dial, and Trigon can use Regeneration and Super Senses. If he can regenerate, that means his stop click could save him multiple times. That's pretty good. Never what he seems, ch shape change. Demonic Disruption. Trigon can use Perplex and Probability Control. Destructive Force. Exploit Weakness. And then... We have the real name, Trigon the Terrible, and a significant appearance from Teen Titans number 6. Trigon seems fairly ridiculous, but I don't actually know of his dial, and it's not like I have someone here who could turn it for me, since I'm holding the camera and doing this solo. So I guess y'all will have to see him in a future episode. The episode's going up now. I actually filmed, uh, last week. So you're not going to see him for at least a week and a half. But I promise you, one of the next videos we film is going to be a showcase of Trigon. Mostly because I need to see what he get, does in actual combat. And he is my piece, so make no mistake. This here is actually Norman's piece. It is a Colossal Hulk. With 350, 250, and 150 point value. Yet again, I can't actually click this because I gotta use my hand to hold the camera. But he starts out with 12, 13, 19, and 5. It's fairly good. I guess his card is in here. For y'all's benefit, I'm actually gonna get the card out. I can peel the tape with one hand. This is a harder video to make than I expected it to be, I won't lie. Mostly because I'm one-handing everything. Ah, oh, they gave me a, uh... Well, what the heck? They double-wrapped them! Pretty good for protecting the pieces, but pretty annoying when you're trying to get this, uh... Video done in a timely manner. What? He 
These are wrapped pretty strangely. Here we go. Let's see if uh, Hulk's card is in this deck. No, but that's another P. There he is. All right, he is from the Avengers Infinity series, same as King Thor, because there's the little logo. No tricks, no hiding. Hulk's strongest there is. Battle Fury. When Hulk attacks one or more monsters, they can use shape change, super senses, or stealth. Modify his damage plus one. That's going to be pain in the butt. Unstoppable. When Hulk is targeted with outwit or opposing perplex, roll a d6. Four to six. Until your next turn, Hulk has protected against outwit and perplex. Mass destruction. When Hulk is given a move action, after resolutions, destroy all pieces of blocking terrain. Then you can use Quake at no cost. Enrage beyond reason. Stop. Roll a d6. On five or six, remove a damage token from the Hulk. An action token. He also has charge, sidestep, super strength, steel energy, invincible, and vulnerability. That's interesting. He has no damage abilities beyond his unique. He has 14 clicks of life. So he seems to be around a middling colossal. Which, I guess they all can't be winners and you don't want them all to be weak. So, that's fair. And that is uh, Norman's colossal. His first colossal, actually. This is Norman's very first colossal from his set. These are also Norman's pieces. First, he's got a World Breaker, worth uh, 100 points or 50, from the Secret Wars Battle World series. It seems to be in okay shape. His uh, dial's a little bit faded, but you know. As far as World Breaker's actual dial depth, he is worth 6 clicks, which is pretty good for 100 points. Has a stop click with Invincible, which happens twice. He has three stop, he has two stop clicks. That's pretty good. Quake's super strength, when World Breaker uses Quake after resolutions, generate a standard light object. Charge, sidestep, super strength, and hard as Hulk Invincible. And he has pretty good attack numbers and damage numbers all throughout. This guy can be a pretty decent threat. Next, he's got uh, this Hulk. 193 or a 55 attack value. Does that say zero defense? I'm going to have to look at this guy's clicks. That is interesting. And he can't. But zero defense. I wonder what the payoff for that is. Limitless Rage. Hulk can use toughness. Hulk ignores all damage dealt him unless it's by an, unless it is dealt by an attack and the attack roll is doubles. But not a critical Oh my god! So in order to actually give him damage on a click with zero defense after roll... Two twos, two threes, two fours, two fives, or two sixes. Friendly characters cannot use probability control during an attack that targets Hulk. His power can't be countered or ignored. That is pretty ridiculous. Piece of the Outback. Before Hulk makes a close combat attack, you may modify his attack and damage values by minus one. If you do, Hulk's target can't use defensive powers. It's got Battle Fury, Toughness, invinci Invulnerability, Impervious, Running Shot, Charge, Plasticity, Leap Climb, Super Strength, Blades, Claws, Fangs. Okay, he's intrigued me. This is another one of Norman's. Basically, if you see a Hulk, it belongs to Norman. Cosmic Hulk, 280 points. Starting dial seems to be 10, 12, 19, and 4. Seems to be from the same set as uh, 
That other Hulk you just saw. There's Cosmic Hulk's card. Running Shot, Flurry, Hypersonic Speed, Charge, Super Strength, Pulse Wave, Impervious, Invulnerability, Super Senses, Probability Controlled, Weaken Univision, Cosmic Hulk's Line of Fire is blocked only by blocking terrain and walls, Hulk ignores the effect, the hindering terrain defense modifier when attacking, Shape Change, alrighty. That's the first roll of characters. If you can't tell, most of these pieces are actually Norman's. Like, if you see a Hulk, it's his. Um, I do have a few pieces here of my own. I'm interested in seeing them. Yes, there he is. Okay, this Lex isn't looking as promised. I basically got this Lex Luthor because I thought he looked like a red power ring. That is a red power ring uh, base, but only 160 points. Does he have a card? Or is this... Uh, yes, he does. You're mine now. Oh no, he's an orange lantern. Still lantern core. Not bad. Mind control, telekinesis, poison... Pulse Wave, Mastermind, Impervious, Vulnerability, Orange Greed, Luthor can use Outwit. If he counters standard speed attack or damage power on an adjacent character that he can't already use, he can use that standard power to the beginning of your next turn. He's from Blackest Night number 6. Seems to be a very early piece, like when they first started using cards. Don't quote me on that. Next, we got another one, and that's one of my pieces, by the way. Here's another one of Norman's. I think he's from uh, Avengers Assemble. 185 points. 8, 10, 17, and 4 with Invincible. Ooh. Let's find his card. Here it is. Puny Banner. Once per game, when Hulk has two action tokens, you may give him a free action, click him to click a number 11. I'm actually going to pause. Okay, as far as what that actually means, I accidentally explained this whole thing and then uh, realized I'd never hit record again. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. An Hulk would take damage from an opposing character. Instead, turn the style clockwise, the number of clicks equal to... Plus the amount of damage he's taken. Hulk is not KO'd when it reaches a KO click unless he stops turning the dial on that click. This power cannot be ignored. And that is what is on click 11. So basically, this Hulk cannot be KO'd unless it hits a KO click. That is kind of cheating. He has Puny Banner, which allows him to go to that click. Hulk can use Flurry and Leap Climb. When Hulk uses Leap Climb after action resolve, he uses Quake Free Action. Charge, Plasticity, Stealth, Super Strength, Precision Strike, Invincible, Impervious, and Vulnerability, Shape Change and Power, Battle Fury. Hulk can use Outwit and Perplexed and has uh, the other damage value. This Hulk is fairly ridiculous, and so does all of them. I really seem to be empowering my enemy here. By actually buying all these for him. Because you see, I actually bought him most of these as a gift. Ugh. Here's the one Norman's most excited about getting Maestro. One seventy five one hundred points. I like his design. Fairly decent. Dial seems okay. Uh condition wise. Now let's see. Ah, there's Maestro's card. The Baron of Battle War. Leadership Perplex. Maestro's uses Perplex target another character. You may instead modify a combat value except damage plus two. If target shares a Battle War keyword or minus two if it has a different keyword. 
Battle World Other Brute Future Monster Ruler. I am inevitable. Snap. Steel Energy. That's his whole dial. Like he doesn't lose it. Which he has eight clicks out of twelve. He also has charge with that code. We'll explain that code if uh, we use him. Still standing. Free. Make a close combat attack. You can make two attacks in one turn with that. Without pushing. Let's drive through my lands. Sidestep, Flurry. Super Strength. Quake, Invincible, Impervious, and Vulnerability. No damage abilities. But he maintains four or three damage his whole life. Defense never drops below 17. Attack never drops below 10. Pretty decent character, I have to say. But not the most broken one I've tested so far. Alright, let's check this next roll. Again, all these stuff came from, uh, trolling, trollingtude.com. And I did pay actual money for all this, like, making a mistake, I spent like 80 bucks total on all these pieces. So, make no mistake, I'm paying up for these. This is not a sponsored video. Hi, yes, I see... Of these, two of these are Normans. Alright, first we got the Oni Leader. You may recall from the Hulk Gauntlet, the Norman mentioned that Oni Hulk has ability that is useless unless the leader's around. Guess what? He has him now. With only 75 points? I gotta say, he's probably not the strongest Hulk in the world. Occupation Notice. Only leader can use that wit. When he does, he can use code. He can use an additional time during your turn for another, for each other friendly character closer to the opponent's starting area than your own. But only if that character is 50 points or more or named Oni Hulk. So he can use outwit several times. He also has stealth, mastermind, and vulnerability, regeneration, and outwit regular. Only has five clicks. But maintains a solid 3 damage all throughout, but his attack kind of sucks. Of course, he's from the same set as Oni Hulk. I'm not going to waste too much more time explaining. Uh, this next piece is a fairly decent support of Norman's. Amadeus Cho. A friendly character named Hercules is adjacent to Cho. They both modify their attack values plus 1, if not already modified. It's effect... Amadeus Cho can use Penetrating Psychic Blast. When he does, modifies attack value and range by plus two. His damage becomes one and is locked. Energy Shield Deflection. Seventh smartest in the world, Amadeus Cho can use Outwit. If no other friendly character has an ability or power countered, he can also use Probability Control. He has Outwit and Probability Control regular. Things similar to... Lex's card, where he really, uh, goes in depth explaining this. This is Joe here. He seems about what I'd expect for a human character. Now these two are mine. I got War Machine for a reason, you'll see that reason shortly. Since KO clicks, I can't actually show you a dial. These were 200 points, he's from Age of Ultron. But I will show you his uh, card. Targeted chain gun fire. Code. Tony can't fly like this. War Machine can use energy shield deflection. Running shot, sidestep. Variable threat response, give uh, War Machine free action, choose standard attack power on this card. War Machine can use the chosen power till he chooses again, which is penetrating psychic blast, pulse wave, or precision strike, all pretty useful. Energy Explosion 2. Pervious and vulnerability, toughness, 
when a machine targets more than one opposing character range attack, he used probability control for that attack as well. Nice. And range combat expert. Uh, if it feels like I'm kind of rushing through these, you'll get better explanation when they're actually used in a video, which all of these are. Uh, Joker. 75 points. I got him because I'm intrigued by his abilities, and you will be too. See, Joker has a booklet, and he has seven slots of health, which is pretty good for who he is. That's interesting. I'll get into that later. But he has uh, several title character abilities. Beginning your turn, deal one penetrating blast to a friendly character. That seems to be for Harley Quinn. Free, deal one damage to each opposing character. Pick a card, roll a d6. One or two. Uh huh. I'll explain title characters later because I'm not fully sure what it is. This is my first character with it. He has charge, sidestep, stealth, combat, reflexes, mastermind, outwit, probability, control, empowered. He can also place Joker Thugs. Joker Thugs action don't count against your action token. Total. So I can use these guys if I have them infinitely per turn. Plasticity, toughness, 6, 9, 16, 2. Okay. Okay, that's a character that's going to require a bit more inspection on. I won't lie. Sorry for not giving you an in-depth analysis of that. Just, this is turning into a longer video than I expected. Shoot. I forget that. I'm gonna have a piece of tape stuck in my hand the rest of this video. Because this video's already reached, like, uh, 20 seconds long, so... Oops. Okay, first we got... Norman and I both have a The Skull. For 40 point value is a unique. Who is the skull? Why do I have two of them? See, one's for me, one's for Norman. If he can see you, he can control you. Mind control. When skull uses his ranged action, he may target a character regardless of range, but still requires a line of fire, but can't target any other characters. Stop click. Mastermind. When the skull uses mastermind, he may choose a friendly character regardless of point value. Sidestep, combat reflexes, leadership perplex. But he only has three clicks. Regardless, uh, and he has two stop clicks. So you're going to be working every little bit to get to those stop clicks, and now we both have one. Alright, this is the character I'm most excited to see myself. Silk. As I mentioned before, Silk is one of my favorite characters. I like the detail they put on her. I really hope to see more Silks in the future. I know she's a rather recent character, that's why she didn't have many clicks. Her own name's Cindy Moon. Call an elf from Spider-Verse. Once per turn, all characters are straight. When Silk hits an opposing character, after actions resolve, you may roll a d6 that can't be re-rolled. Three or six, place another friendly character with a Spider-Man family keyword adjacent to this character. Nice. Silk can use Incapacitate when she does. She can use it normally, or she could use it as if she had three range tokens. But don't give an action token to characters with zero tokens. So it's only useful for locking people up. Still can use probability control. 
During an opponent's turn, she may use this probability control to re-roll super senses instead of an opponent's roll. That's pretty cool, and that's why I got her. As well as the fact that I just love Silk. I think Shot sidesteps Super Senses, Regeneration, con Close Combat Expert. She has 6 clicks out of 12, so she's a rather mid-range character. I'll be, and I'm, like I said, Silk is one of my favorite comic characters. I'm very happy to have her. That leaves just Nightwing. He's from the Rebirth series, so he just came out. You can already get him on Trim Toad. 75, 50 point value, has a Titans and a Batman team ability, it seems. So Nightwing might have a stacked card. Well, for six clicks, he's about mid-range, like a... Like a Cindy Moon. Nightwing is given a move action after results. He can use the Titan team ability at no extra cost. Does your utility belt have a fax machine too? Leadership. Free. Choose one. Close combat expert. Range combat expert. Perplexer outwit. Nightwing can use his chosen power till the next turn. Running shot. Flurry. A capacity. Energy shield deflection. Combat reflexes. Perplex. Alrighty. Now I'm going to pause, and I'm actually going to click through Trigon's dial, simply because before I go, I want to say how many clicks of, uh, how many clicks he actually has through. Just to give you a better estimate of, uh, Trigon, since you know his ability. Eight, uh, Trigon has 15 clicks of health. This is him all put together. So, him and Hulk are basically your mid-range uh, Colossals. He's not a very deep dial character, which will probably keep him from being a uh, high-end Colossal. But as a little tease, this ain't the only thing I have coming in the mail for the uh, unboxing vlog. Actually, I have two others, and both are Colossals. One is mine, yet again, and one is Norman's. One is DC, and one is Marvel. So, till next time, I will see y'all later. Thank you for watching this vlog. And game on, Clicks and Coffees fans.